Beautiful. All right. I think we're, um, are you ready? Yeah. Okay. Do you want to introduce? Hello. I am Sophia Rose as Rainbow at Astara Askedosi Chocolate Unicorn. And, then, and I'm her daughter. Okay. Would you expect anything else, really? She has a stage name. Um, but you were going to be named Rainbow. And then two nights before I had you, I had a dream that her name should be Sophia, Rose. as as the as the Sophia Earth, Rose. as the Earth, Sophia Rose. So um, today we have kind of a cool day going on, and we're going to talk about banding. So do you want to put yours up? And banding came about because when I looked at pictures of super powerful women or women that had superpowers, I noticed that there was something that was consistently happening. So let's start here. Let's just go through the pics. So we've got... This is Wonder Woman. She is a great person. Yeah. She inspires me. So then we have, and if you notice, if you guys look, theme, theme here. Here's the Egyptian one. Cuff, energy power bands. We have Athena, another goddess. Once again, she has bands on the wrists. What do we got here? This is Saraswati. And well, Sophia, what does she have? Uh, she has cuffs. She has cuffs. And a peacock behind her. And a peacock behind her, which is very auspicious. And we love her music at home. Yes, we do, because we, li- we do listen to her chanting. Okay, yes. All right, we have Kuan Yin. Once again, she's got some wrist bandlets. And... We have this beautiful African-American goddess, and she's got all these bands on her wrist. So if we take a look at the past and these women who had it going on, maybe there's something there about putting energy on both of our wrists to help bring things into our life that we want to balance out. And I just feel recently for me, With the energy that's going on right now, we're about to go into this Mercury retrograde. So this is the shadow period before. And where it's kind of where we want to do a little prep work to balance ourselves. So, Sophia, why don't you talk about your designs and what you did? Okay, so right here, this is pyrite. And it helps me with my luck with soccer or with my grades. Okay, all right. And right here is clear quartz. I also have... Um, rose quartz right here and I have this charm named wish and it helps me make wishes and it also clears my brain when um, like I can't really know an answer but whenever I wear this it helps me figure out something okay and then um, and then you design both of these right yes. okay so basically what happens with the banding is is that you put one on each arm to help enhance that particular energy So I wanted to talk a little bit about this mineral today because lithium is one of the lightest of all minerals. And in this stone called lipidolite, there are trace minerals of lithium. And what's really cool is if you look at some of the batteries that are made today, these um, like they're uh, lithium ion batteries, What they do is they charge, you know, our smartphones and some of the larger ones will be able to charge cars. So I personally am wearing some lipidolite, which is what this is, which has trace minerals of lithium. And I like it because what it does is it helps to elevate and balance my moods. So what I wanted to do is put an energy here on this side, which is about, um, which is about for me to receive the energy of balance, of light. I have some ametrine. And then what I wanted to do is put something on here, which is giving. So I want to kind of relieve, bring in a lot of energy of balance, of healing. And I want to give more clarity. And I want to give a part of myself. I have the, um, the pyrite on here, which is where I'm giving the truth, giving um, the energy of seeing how things really are. And so by wearing these together, I'm bringing in the both energy field, both things into my energy field. So 
If you want, and I'm not trying to, but I do think that there is this energy of superpower when you put this energy together, where you kind of could get centered within yourself and within your heart to bring in what you want. And once again, you're programming with the crystals. So as Sophia had said earlier, what if you want to have more clarity in your life? What if you're an artist and you want to have clear thoughts in regards to a new art project? Or a sports player. Or a sports player. So you wanted to bring more action and energy into it. Then you could maybe, suggestions, combine some carnelian and some quartz crystal. And wear these together on each arm, thank you, and to bring in that energy. And so what happens is you're using the power of both of the crystals on each wrist to help you. Now, what do you think? Okay, so this is a luck one. So this is um, pyrite with um, termalated quartz, which is clearing away anything that is in your is, is holding you back. So what if you want to have more luck and have more gratitude for the luck that you receive. So you can use any combos of what you want. So what you wanna do is bring in what you want to, you wanna sit for a little while and you wanna make sure that when you are working with this power banding, that you make sure that both energies are kind of the yin and the yang. Because when they work together, they bring in harmony. And um, for example, with the lipidolite, I notice with some of these energies, lipidolite is very soft and has more of a subtle energy. This one is a mineral that when you wear it over time, it builds. Other ones, such as carnelian, it's almost as if the minute you put it on it, it has action and you feel the energy right away. So once again, you kind of have to play around until you get your your um, combo but I also feel that one of the reasons that I personally like the banding right now is because if you work with energy or you're just out there in the public we pick up a lot of things with our hands and now it's right right now more than ever it's really important after you've done business meetings or you've been shaking people's hands or any kind of thing where you're exchanging energy you go into the bathroom and you scrub your hands and you scrub them clean because this is where we bring a lot of energy into our body. Sometimes what happens is when we do banding, it kind of creates the shield of protection around us. So I don't know, what have you felt, Sophia, with when you've been wearing them, the banding? Well, how does that feel for you? Um, well, like as I said, that that this one always helps me with my grades, and I and I actually made it, I think, like last year. Yeah. Um, but my favorite, but I I picked these uh, I picked these minerals is because I love rose roses and my name is Rose and um, and I have this pink rose quartz on me and it feels like protected on me when I have when I have a test or a quiz um, it'll help me with fifth grade and with this one um, it helps it helps me with my luck with if like with my soccer or with my friends or like if something something happens do you feel like when you have them on you feel like as if you like have it the energy is building the energy is building okay what we about you? okay um for me i just feel as if it puts a shield of not only energy around my arms but it puts an energy field around my whole body but it also reminds me that I have an intention that I'm working on and it helps me feel empowered and you know what at the end of the day if these goddesses can be doing it the Roman and we go back into the energy of back into the past and if they're doing it there's got to be something to it so I definitely think doing power banding is the way to go take it out for a spin Try it for 11 days. See how you feel. See how you feel having bracelets on both sides of your body, the giving and the receiving that both have energy that you want to balance out into your life. And it also feels very powerful when, like, it might not, like, seem powerful at, like, at one minute, but after, like, 10 or 5 or 15 minutes, you'll get, like, the building of the power with it and the energy. Okay. All right, and then did you want to tell them really quick about our book, the book? Okay. 
So, on Amazon, go pre-order um, Crystal Muse and all and also follow my go follow my mom at Heather Heather at Askinosi. Um, Heather underscore Askinosi and energymuse.com and come by the store and buy some crystals so you can feel the energy. Follow me. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Okay. Anyway, cut, 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 cut. <laughs> cut. Wait, somebody had a question. Oh. They have Labradorite, like a Labradorite bracelet and a tiger's eye bracelet. Oh, What's okay. Okay, so this is the thing with the sides, and I'm glad you asked. Because a lot of times, this is what I, I think a big thing for me personally with crystals. You could talk to a lot of different crystal people and probably will tell you a lot of different things. I really think that you need to hold both of them, and you have to put one on... You know, try one on one side, try one on the other side. And what I've noticed is it's almost as if when you put them on the right side, they just feel right. Sometimes when I've put one, like earlier today when I first put this on, I tried it on this side. It didn't feel right. It felt heavy. I didn't feel balanced. The minute I put it on this side and then I added a different one, it was, your body tells you especially with energy it's just once again you have to listen to it i wish i could give you a definite but each one of us is different and we have the whole thing about crystals is that we have to take the time to align and make sure what fits for us and what makes us balance is what we need to plug into so plug into the energy of the earth because love is in the earth all right nama stay, stay.